Hello, my name is Lieutenant Erin Blau. I am a nurse officer with the United States Public Health Service at the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. As members of the largest and most trusted healthcare profession, we as nurses play important roles both personally and professionally in helping to control the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Vaccines are one of the most important tools we have in stopping this pandemic. Because patients rely on us for accurate information, I'd like to take a few minutes to help explain how different vaccines work. COVID-19 disease is caused by SARS-CoV-2, a virus within the coronavirus family. Coronaviruses are named for the crown-like spikes on their surface called spike proteins. All COVID-19 vaccines aim to produce immunity to SARS-CoV-2 by targeting these spike proteins. The first two vaccines that were authorized for use in the United States are Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna messenger RNA or mRNA vaccines. mRNA vaccines contain material that carries a message to your body and tells it how to make copies of the isolated spike proteins which cannot cause COVID-19 disease by themselves. Once our bodies make copies of the spike proteins, our immune system recognizes that they should not be there and make antibodies. If you are exposed to the real virus later, your body will recognize it and know how to fight it off. These vaccines are made of the mRNA, which is wrapped in a coating that makes delivery easy and keeps the body from damaging it. After it delivers the instructions, your cells break it down and get rid of it. mRNA vaccines do not contain any live virus, so they cannot give you COVID-19. The next type of vaccine approved for use in the United States is a viral vector vaccine. A viral vector vaccine uses harmless version of a different virus called a vector, which acts as a carrier to deliver information on how to make copies of the spike proteins. From there, the process is similar to how other vaccines work. It creates an immune response and teaches our bodies how to recognize the virus so that they can help protect us. Viral vector vaccines cannot cause infection with SARS-CoV-2 or the virus used as the vector. The material delivered by the mRNA or viral vector vaccines cannot change your DNA in any way. These vaccines are safe and effective. Because of the urgent need to develop a safe and effective vaccine, scientists use a process called Emergency Use Authorization, or EUA, to provide more timely access to the vaccines. This mechanism has been used in the past for anthrax, Ebola, enterovirus, H7N9 influenza, and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Before being authorized for emergency use, these COVID-19 vaccines underwent the same rigorous evaluation as other vaccines. People from many different races, ages, genders, and ethnicities participated in large clinical trials in the United States and globally to determine how well the COVID-19 vaccines work in diverse populations. The FDA granted EUAs for the COVID-19 vaccines that were shown during clinical trials to be effective at preventing serious illness, hospitalization, and death from COVID-19. These vaccines can sometimes cause injection site pain, redness, and swelling. They may also cause tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, or fever. These side effects are normal signs that your body is building protection and should go away in a couple of days. Data demonstrate that the known and potential benefits of the available vaccines outweigh the known and potential harm of becoming infected with SARS-CoV-2. Having different types of vaccines available for use can offer more options and flexibility for both the public and vaccination providers. All vaccines have been shown to prevent severe COVID-19 illness, hospitalization, and death. Get vaccinated with the first vaccine available to you. This will protect you and help stop the COVID-19 pandemic. If you haven't already, please sleeve up, get vaccinated, and share your experience. You can find more answers to your vaccine questions at cdc.gov.